Hello guys, uh, nice to see you. Uh, today I would like to walk you through some JavaScript code that uh, would allow uh, to build annotation uh, functionality on top of image. This is uh, especially useful when uh, you work with uh, uh, documents, uh, scan documents, uh, other kind of images, and you want to give user uh, functionality to select a certain item on the screen and uh, assign a label. Or maybe you would have uh, uh, some information, boxes, rectangles that you would like to uh, display on top of the image, and you would like to give user option to select this rectangle and give uh, additional information or correct the information that is coming from uh, another system like OCR. So let's uh, see how it works. And this example uh, is very basic and generic. Uh, I did it on purpose so that uh, the same logic could be uh, could be used by anyone in their own systems. And obviously, it's not it's not production ready. This is just the idea. Uh, you should take this idea and implement in your application. And to 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 show how it works, so here we have a received document picture of received document, and we display. Um, and this is uh, obviously HTML page, and this is the image. Uh, we display the image, receive document, and on top of that image, we render uh, one box and uh, another box. So imagine you may get uh, coordinates for those boxes from OCR system, and then you would display uh, boxes uh, around all the words that were discovered by OCR system. In this case, this is just example. So we've got uh, boxes, and we also can click and let's see if I go to the uh, JavaScript console and if I click this uh, this guy, then all the information is being displayed about uh, uh, about the box with also with ID and so on. Then if I click another one, this is number two is being displayed, and then I click the first one and the second one and so on. And when I click, uh, the box is highlighted with uh, blue color. For example, you can change to any color uh, as you want. Okay, so let's go and see how it's, uh, how it's done in the code. And um, uh, the boxes are rendered with uh, SVG. Uh, there are two ways in HTML to render your stuff, uh, rectangles, other shapes, either with SVG or uh, using HTML5 canvas. So, uh, yeah, when implementing this kind of use case, I was researching both Canvas and SVG, and I was thinking which one to use. And apparently, <clears throat> if you want to build something simple, like uh, just uh, annotation boxes, uh, simple shapes, and no advanced graphics, then you should go with SVG because it's lighter and simpler. If you want to build uh, advanced graphics, display some um, animations, uh, build some sort of game in the browser, then you should go with uh, HTML5 Canvas. So for annotation kind of tool, SVG is good enough. Okay, and this HTML uh, page is very simple, and I'll uh, put a link to the uh, GitHub repo where you could uh, get uh, grab all the, all the source code. Uh, all this, uh, basically, you don't need to uh, try and, and uh, uh, type the code as I display it because you can copy paste it from my GitHub repo and URL you'll find below the video. Yeah, so we have some styling uh, here uh, which helps to uh, render boxes nicer and then it goes the body tag. Then uh, this is diff is important because in this diff we display image and on top of that image we uh, display SVG uh, box and it must have the same dimensions as the image. So this is the place you should uh, put attention. Uh, when you display the image, you should look what are the dimensions of the image and dynamically uh, assign uh, the sizing for the SVG. Or another option is uh, you always would, maybe you would always want to display image in a certain dimensions and then uh, on top of that you display SVG, but this may not work because if the image will be smaller, then it will be stretched. So yeah, it's uh, up to you how you want to display it, but the basic principle is that in the first tag in, in the div you display image, in the second tab you display SVG, 
and you assign a unique index. And then in JavaScript, uh, based on that index, we get the uh, object, let's say, and uh, we are starting to uh, insert uh, SVG elements into this main root SVG object. So we go and create, uh, uh, over here we create, for example, we create two, two, two rectangles. Um, uh, and like rectangle one, rectangle two, and we add uh, uh, over here we append both of them to the uh, to the main uh, SVG object, this one, and which is initialized by referring to the unique ID of SVG tag uh, available on the same HTML page. And uh, when we create uh, rectangles, we set a bunch of different attributes like. Um, uh, for example, x, y, width, height, uh, different uh, colors, uh, uh, and so on. You can play around and uh, you can uh, set like a standard set of properties here and also custom. So uh, like this ID one is uh, the custom uh, property and you could specify uh, different uh, values here and this way you could uh, later when you uh, click on, user clicks on a rectangle, you can identify which rectangle was clicked specifically by the ID and then uh, maybe on the right side or, or below the image would have a form uh, with all, all the um, elements and then you can highlight uh, uh, like input field from that form that relates to a rectangle that user clicked and uh, this way for the user it will be easier to type information and uh, assign a label or fix the um, auto-generated label for the field, for example. Okay, and then we assign also event listener on click. So when this SVG shape is being clicked uh, with the mouse, then um, event listener will be invoked where we pass as an input parameter a whole rectangle object. Of course, you can pass uh, other type of data if you want, if you don't want to pass a rectangle, you can pass just uh, ID or something like that. And then over here, uh, we maintain array of uh, all the rectangles that were displayed on top of the image in SVG. We we iterate for that uh, array and uh, we for all the rectangles, we set uh, uh, fill color to gray. Uh, this way, kind of um, select all the rectangles to be unselected, not selected. And for the one that we are actually clicking now, we are setting uh, fill color to blue. This way, uh, in the first step, all the rectangles are gray, and then the one that we are actually selecting now is, is blue. Yeah, this is like we saw uh, uh, earlier. So I, I select on one, it becomes blue. Select on another, it becomes blue as well. So this is just the uh, image and on top of image, this uh, simple SVG tag and uh, we are creating rectangles, uh, HTML objects and, and pushing to this SVG tag and creating uh, a SVG image uh, this way. And this, this allows to create the, this kind of annotation interface. And yeah, annotation interface is useful for ML applications because uh, a huge part of uh, of work with ML applications is uh, data labeling, and uh, using this approach, you can create your own data labeling or annotation tool, uh, where you could assign uh, labels on top of uh, image elements and uh, uh, create correct mappings. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.